reading. Well, I thought the fresh air could do me a bit of good. Are you feeling any better? Oh yes, I feel much better. Thanks for asking. I didn't get all my errands finished yesterday. Are you well enough for me to go out today? Oh, absolutely. Besides, I have Mrs. Pollen and Mr. Anderson for company, don't I? Well, that's settled then. Oh, good day, Miss Pye. Good day, Mrs. Pollard. You don't look very well. Uh, not really. I just give myself terrible migraines all the time. Oh, um, oh, uh, Miss Pike, I, I have something I need to tell you. What's that? Yes, what's that? Oh, hello, Miss Pike. I didn't know you were back. Hmm. Startled you there, then, Mrs. Um, Howard? Yes, yes, uh, maybe. <laughs> um, what did you have to tell my sister? Um, I, I wanted to tell you how happy you are to have your home and that you've really lifted the spirits of the house. Oh, thank you, Miss Pye. That's lovely of you. Yeah, it certainly has, hasn't it? Was there anything else or are you done with my sister? Um, th that's fine. Oh, that's, that'll be all. <laughs> yeah. On your way then, Mrs Pollard. Okay. Okay. Um, Maggie? Is everything okay? You're um, off for Mrs Pollard. Do you think so? Well, kind of. You were a little sharp. You could have been a bit nicer. Duly noted. Oh, did you see the magpie in the garden? I can't say I did. Oh, so I'm going to just pass it in his head. Do you mean birds generally or magpies in particular? No, just magpies. They have like this cheeky little sight of them right now. <laughs> cheeky? Mm -hmm. More like little thieves. Really? Did you know they're supposed to be a bad omen? No, I didn't know that. They say that a pair refused to board Noah's Ark. They just sat on the roof and laughed as the world flooded. I don't think birds are smart enough to do that, I think. They say, when you hear the cry of the magpie, someone you love is doomed to die. So I... Did you hear what my mum died? Don't be silly, Izzy. It's just a story. Lizzie? Are you alright? Lizzie? Oh, God. Yeah. 
No, I'm, I'm fine. I think I just caught a little bit too much longer than I thought. I'm really not feeling well, Maggie. I think I might go to bed. Dinner will be ready in an hour. Please be prompt. I will. Thank you, Maggie. Um, Maggie, could you be a sweet and grab something for me? I've got a terrible migraine. Of course. Thank you. Here we are. Is there anything else? Oh, thank you, Margaret. Um, actually, yes. Could you ask Mr. Anderson if he could fix my book for me? It's a paper of mine. Of course it is. Thank you. Then it will be ready in an hour. I'll be down in 20 minutes. Good. to something I've got on my appetizer. It has been a while, Maggie. Well, I'm sorry, Goldilocks, but the kitchen is now closed. I didn't mean to offend you, Maggie. Aye, aye, aye. That's all I've been hearing. How about a little me time? God, you're so self-involved. Sorry, Margaret. It's borderline narcissistic. Sure, it's just the fresh tomatoes taste a lot. Damn it, Lizzie, what now? I was just saying that the taste is very peculiar. Maybe I could just have something like yours. Fine. Here, take it, you ungrateful cow. I've worked so hard for you to come home so we could be a family again. And this is how you repay me. Sorry, Maggie, but I don't see how any way that I've been ungrateful to you. Do you not think I see you whispering behind my back? Laughing at me with Mrs. Pollard and Mr. Anderson? Oh, Margaret, you're just paranoid again. Paranoid am I? If only Mother could see you now. How did you become this type of person? All that time away, I would have thought you could have spent time to reflect and become a better person. That's all. We're going to bed. Fine. Walk away. Just like Father did.
Mr. Anderson. Have you seen Margaret? I haven't. Uh, she left a while ago. She's never usually gone long, so I'm sure she'll be back soon. Okay, thank you. Oh, actually, Mr. Anderson, um, did you leave a note in my room yesterday? Uh, no, not me. Perhaps Mrs. Pollard. Hmm, perhaps. Do you know where she is? She hasn't been around today. Do you know why? I don't, I'm sorry. Come to think of it, she did say her son was coming to visit soon. Oh, I didn't know she had a son. She had a daughter too, but the poor child died a while ago. Oh, how awful. Bless her. Poor soul. Caught a severe case of influenza and just never recovered. Well, I must say my condolences. If you see her, could you tell her that I was asking for her? Absolutely, Miss Pike. Thank you, Miss Anderson. Good day, Miss Pike. Good day. Sorry, Maggie, I was in on my own. How are you feeling? Mm, not terrible. My head's too wild, so. I saw the doctor, told him about your symptoms, and he gave me these. Maggie, what happened to your hand? It's nothing. I cut it whilst peeling the potatoes. Oh. Well, what are these? Valium. Valium. The doctor didn't seem too worried about the symptoms at all. Adjustment problems? Well, I'm glad Dr. Found isn't too worried anyway. So come on, back into bed. I'll go and make you a cup of tea. We need to get you on the mend so we can get in town and get you a job. Maggie, I'm, I'm sorry about last night. Are we all right? Of course we are. I've just not been sleeping very well. I've been so stressed. It's not very sisterly with me, is it? We'll try to the bridge then. Absolutely. Now, come on. Um, Maggie? Miss Trance said he wanted to speak to you about Mrs. Pollard. Did he now? Yes. And where is she? <laughs> Mrs. Pollard had to leave suddenly. Her daughter's not very well. I gave her two weeks paid leave. That was awfully kind of you, Maggie. Wasn't it just? Mm. Now, I'll go get the tea. patient of his until recently. I didn't see Margaret today. Was I expecting a visit from her? I, I, I thought she'd come to see me next week. Oh, I, I'm, I'm so sorry, Dr. Andrews. I, 
I seem to have my tears muzzled up my sincere apologies. Not to worry, Elizabeth. Um, uh, listen, I, I must go. Um, speak soon, Dr. Andrews. Oh, Margaret, you startled me. Why are you out of bed? Um, I was, uh... Were you on the phone? Oh, Who were you calling? Ah, uh, yes, I was phoning the operator to get through to Mrs. Pollard. Oh, I wanted to wish your daughter's speedy recovery. I see. Here's your tea. <laughs> now, off to bed. Oh, Lizzie? Yes, Margaret? I've just spoke with Mr. Anderson. He says it was you asking after Mrs. Pollard, not him. Oh, not like a sworn he asked me, but. <laughs> Not oh, Maggie, my head seems to be muddled up these days. I'm so sorry. Mrs. Pollard left last night to see her daughter. Yes, well, the operator can put me through. Mm. I see. <laughs> Stupid bloody man! <gasps> Maggie, what are you doing out here? I've had to take everything out. I'm going to have to start again. It's nearly dark, though. And you've earned all your flowers. Did you want something or have you just come out here to criticise me? Maggie, you're dirty. Just go inside, I'll be in shortly. Lizzie, will you stop doing that and eat the damn stuff? I have a few things on my mind. I know you're fed up with soup, but when I spoke with the doctor today about improving your meals, he said soup was the best thing for you at this time. And Dr Andrews told you this? Yes, unless there's another Dr Andrews I'm unaware of. Not as far as I'm concerned. Well, there you are then. And Dr Andrews told you this today, did he? Yes, I just told you that. Are you not listening? Who can that be? Well, if Mrs Pollard was here, I'm sure she'd get it. Oh no! What have I done? I'm sorry, I have to go. What have you done, Lizzie? Look at this mess! I think we should call Mrs Pollard back. We clearly need her. Enough, Lizzie. You go to your room and I'll clear up this mess. <laughs> and I'll do a damn sight worse if you don't stop these silly games. Do you not think I see what you're doing? And what is it that I'm doing, Margaret? You're acting like a spoiled child. Now get out! I am a grown woman, Margaret. I'm your sister, not child, and you'll do very well to remember that! <laughs>